Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Tuba, and I am the R&D and Innovation Manager of Sestec. And today, uh, I want to introduce our multimodal authentication platform project to you. Uh, okay. Uh, I think we would all agree that intelligent authentication is a dire need today uh, because billions of people uh, routinely use their smartphones, tablets, or PCs uh, for banking, tele, uh, telehealth, or e-commerce uh, activities, and also avail themselves of uh, governmental services. Uh, and this even increased more during the uh, pandemic times. I, I mean, uh, uh, in one year, during the uh, COVID-19 uh, year, for, for instance, uh, the role of digitalization uh, has changed and the importance of it uh, increased its pace uh, during uh, this period. Uh, and also, um, in a response to that, there's a greater need for users and businesses uh, to authenticate the identity when they are uh, doing, uh, when they, people are benefiting from digital services. And also, uh, fraudsters uh, exploit uh, the vulnerable authentication systems today. Uh, organizations uh, are now more aware that the traditional authentication systems uh, like passwords and pins are not uh, enough and they lack of security uh, needs. And we also know that there's an existing demand from the market for a, a more intelligent authentication platform. And um, taking these points into consideration, uh, MAP project aims to deliver an intelligent and mod modular uh, multimodal authentication platform and to expand intelligent authentication concepts beyond authentication of a single model. Uh, by this, uh, I mean um, as a uh, voice authentication solution provider ourselves, we know that as a standalone product, it's not uh, enough uh, to authenticate the identity. Uh, to be more secure, you have to add different kinds of modalities and they have to work together to uh, enable a more secure authentication platform. And uh, in this project, we are uh, concentrating on this mainly and we want to bring uh, uh, authentication of different modalities all together, uh, like uh, facial authentication or fingerprint authentication and different kinds of uh, biometric factors including the uh, behavioral analysis of the user, uh, like how do I hold my phone? How, uh, do, how do I put it in my uh, pocket? Or do I use my two thumbs? Or do I use my index finger uh, when I'm using it? Uh, we can use this data as a behavioral analysis. And also, uh, network intelligence is also a trending topic uh, for the authentication of the user. And we want to bring them all together and orchestrate this with an AI-infused decision engine. Uh, and who are we? Uh, we have expertise in language technologies and we have more than 22 years of experience in this field. Uh, and uh, currently uh, we implemented our technologies to more than 400 customers around the globe, uh, to more than 20 countries. And half of our uh, turnover is from the export sales, mainly uh, to USA. We have two R&D centers, we have 11 patents in this field, and uh, we have more than 60 publications, and we have already contributed to more than 35 uh, funded projects uh, so far, including the national and the international ones. Uh, and uh, we uh, divide our main products groups into three uh, main groups, uh, including conversational AI, conversational biometrics, and conversational analytics. I won't go in deep now, but uh, the second uh, part, the conversational biometrics, is the important solution for the project that we are currently proposing. Uh, we can do active verification, passive verific verification on the user, like a verification on the Go system, and we can also do blacklist identification, and we want to use this uh, in the project as well. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we want to deliver an intelligent authentication uh, platform uh, that includes different kind of uh, authentication of different kind of uh, modalities. It can be voice biometrics, behavioral biometrics, facial recognition, uh, etc. And during the proposal, uh, the consortium building phase, we want to uh, fill these uh, boxes with different kind of partner expertise. Uh, 
uh, and uh, the uh, allocated authentication methods will be dependent on the uh, type of data that we use or the security level required or the uh, requirements of the uh, reliant parties which will be service providers uh, from finance, e-commerce, health or government use cases. And uh, then we want to um, fuse the uh, uh, fuse the uh, outputs of the uh, different kind of authentication methods all together uh, with an AI-backed risk uh, intelligence engine to cre create a common uh, score to uh, grant or deny access to the user. And so uh, we want to provide a platform uh, that would be compliant with the uh, European Commission's uh, European Digital Identity Architecture and Reference Framework, which has been released in 2022. And uh, in connection to that, we want to uh, act as a provider of trust services. We want to be ready for, the, uh, for this platform, actually, when we are uh, building this project. And uh, we want to be uh, a part of the European digital identity, the e-wallet ecosystem uh, with this work. And uh, there's a, a market research by Opus uh, Research. Uh, and uh, in, in that one, it's also being mentioned that uh, this kind of multimodal and modular in, uh, intelligent authentication systems uh, are a huge demand in the market and it's very close uh, to the market. I mean. Uh, we assume that it would be uh, not hard for us to um, reach the uh, market to commercialize the output, output of the project. And uh, we know that uh, there, uh, there's a competitive uh, product in the EU market, but uh, mainly uh, the competitors uh, of this product are from the USA market, like Pindrop, Nuance, Nice and uh, Verint. Uh, by the way, we plan uh, the project duration as uh, 36 months. Uh, so far, um, we, uh, we are a candidate to uh, coordinate the project. And uh, as I mentioned before, we are a provider of voice biometrics technologies and we would like to develop the platform itself. Uh, we uh, already have a Turkish and Finnish consortium uh, and we are open to uh, partnerships of different countries from uh, eligible uh, partners, uh, especially the technology providers for biometrics, behavioral analytics, network intelligence, or any other kind of authentication methods that we have not mentioned yet. Uh, use case providers also uh, more than welcome, uh, especially uh, from the cases that we have mentioned as uh, finance, e-commerce, uh, education, or government. And uh, we believe that we also need a standardization partner because there are many regulations out there and we want to be compliant with those standards. SMEs, RTOs, industrial partner universities from eligible countries, they're all, all welcome to the consortium. If you're interested, please feel free to get in contact with me. Thank you. Is there a question, please? Hi, thanks. Thanks for the pitch and for the nice idea. Uh, you mentioned that there's already a consortium ongoing uh, with Turkey and F Finland. Is the, Fili the Finnish use case similar to also related to multimodal authentication or is it something else? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, uh, every partner will uh, focus on the different, uh, different um, authentication of a different modality. So, uh, in Turkey, uh, for instance, we are mainly concentrating on the banking use case, mm -hmm. and we want to bring together voice biometrics with uh, facial recognition. Uh, but in a different country, uh, we can use different uh, technologies uh, with a different use case. I mean, it's, uh, upon, uh, up, it's an open discussion uh, at the moment. Sure, but the underlying idea is multimodal or uh, authentication in general. Authentication in general and multimodal authentication. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.